Hi. Today we are going to make a perfect cup of Turkish tea together. Turkish tea is a famous tea known for its strong black tea aroma. Turkish people drink tea at any time of the day. However, it is impossible to think of the famous Turkish breakfast with its various assortment of foods without Turkish tea. First, in order to make the perfect Turkish tea, we need a Turkish tea maker. Turkish tea maker has two parts: the teapot and the tea kettle. The teapot is where you brew the tea leaves, and the tea kettle is where you boil the water. There are two types of Turkish tea makers. There is steel stove top like this. However, this version is harder for beginners because if you cannot adjust the time and heat, tea will taste bitter and will get cold soon. In order to not face these problems, we preferred the modern electric version, which has a keep warm function that will keep the tea fresh for hours. I personally use Saki Tea Maker. It is the best Turkish tea maker brand that you can find in the United States. With the keep warm function, your tea will stay at the perfect temperature for hours. Let's start making our tea, served for four people. First, put water into the kettle until it reaches the max line. Press the switch down to start boiling the water. The boil switch will turn blue, and when the water is boiled, the tea maker would ding when it is ready. Also. Do not forget to press the red keep warm button. It needs to be turned all the time. In short, your boil switch button will turn off and it will show that your water is boiled. However, in order to make the perfect tea, the tip is to boil the same water 2 or 3 times. Our water is ready. Now we can brew the tea leaves. Turkish tea leaves are black and grow in the northern part of Turkey. My second tip for the perfect Turkish tea is to mix the tea leaves with these two different packages. I will provide the link below. For four people serving, we will put three tablespoons of tea. We will put the tea mix into the filter of the tea kettle. With the stainless steel filter, we don't need to use an extra strainer. Now, we are going to put the boiled water from the kettle to the filter on the top. We will stop when three quarters of the tea kettle is filled with water. Also, we will put water to kettle until the water reaches the max line again. Again, make sure that the keep warm button is always on red. For the perfect Turkish tea, I wait for 20 minutes for the tea to brew. My third tip is, while you are waiting for the tea to brew, again boil the water in the kettle one to two times. This will help the perfect taste and color. The color of the tea should look like this. Some people prefer the tea with sugar. However, if you want the real aromatic taste of the tea, you should prefer it without adding sugar. Traditionally, Turkish people drink tea with these tulip-shaped traditional glasses. Also, these small plates allow you to carry them easily. My last tip is not to fill the whole glass and give room from the rim to hold the tea when drinking it. Now it is time to enjoy your perfect Turkish tea with the delicious Turkish breakfast.